well, it seems like fall knocked on our door, and then that yeah. temperature just dipped. It's, you couldn't have planned it better. Right? You know, it's like the start of fall. Oh, hello, fall weather's right. here. But oh. I always feel like we're, we're not out of the woods yet for some summertime weather. We're not. It holds on. It, you know, we're talking the tropics still, which feels kind of like a summer thing. Sure. Of course, the tropics are hot. And also some strong storms tomorrow. Okay. It starts to warm up. So Busy. we have issued a next alert day for tomorrow. This is tomorrow evening. Now, again, this is kind of a lower end alert. It's a marginal risk, which is a level one out of five. That being said, a lot of people out and about on this weekend. It's the first week. End of fall. It's the start of Rosh Hashanah. People headed to families' houses, friends' houses. A lot going on this weekend, and you don't want to get caught out in one of these storms because some of them could turn quite nasty tomorrow afternoon. Tonight is quiet. It's a beautiful shot of Atlantic City from the water right now. Storm scan three, not showing much of anything. There's a warm front nearby. So. What we're concerned about tomorrow, what I'm concerned about tomorrow, is that this warm front is still going to stay in the vicinity as the cold front catches up to it. And oftentimes, when you get that sort of, you get the warm front and the cold front close together, you get a little bit of wind rotation or wind shear. And every once in a while, that can cause a thunderstorm to start to rotate. And we know what happens when a thunderstorm starts to rotate. It could spin up an isolated tornado. I think the threat is very, very low. But there is the risk for severe weather, at least isolated severe storms tomorrow mainly late afternoon. So tomorrow's forecast, 78. It is a milder day, clouds and some sun in the morning. And then it's between about 3 and 7 that we're going to see the greatest risk for a line of gusty showers and storms. It's not a washout, but if you're outside, if you're planning a, a long hike, if you're taking the kids to the park or the pumpkin patch, these storms will come up on you very quickly. 2 to 7 p.m., locally severe storms, damaging winds, the biggest threat, but again, can't rule out hail or an isolated tornado with any storm that does manage to turn severe. Your Rosh Hashanah forecast then at sundown, 75 degrees, mild with a thunderstorm for the start of the Jewish New Year. Here's the latest on Tropical Storm Ian. It's out in the Caribbean now, and we, it is expected to now increase to a category four at one point, especially if it stays here in the Yucatan Straits and does not make a landfall over Cuba. If it doesn't go over a land surface, that's not going to help to weaken it at all. Now, I do think it will weaken. The latest track has it weakening back to a cat one before making landfall right here, kind of in the bend area of Florida. What does that mean for us? Two model scenarios. This is the GFS. Brings this inland, brings us rain starting Saturday morning. That's 10:30 next Saturday. This is about an inch of rain. It does not look like a widespread flood threat, at least as of now. The European model is similar. The rain gets in a little bit sooner by late Friday, early Saturday, and it is a little bit heavier and will last into Saturday, into Sunday, I should say. This is more like two inches of rain. Keep in mind, we're still a week out from these potential impacts, and the track can shift. What I'm most concerned about would be the threat for flooding rain here as we head into Friday and Saturday with rain possible both days, tropical downpours. We will see how strong Ian is and how quickly it moves north once it makes landfall. But of course, the impacts will be greatest down along the Gulf Coast. So tomorrow, it's an alert day. Afternoon thunderstorms for the start of Rosh Hashanah there. Monday is beautiful. Tuesday is beautiful. Wednesday and Thursday are beautiful. And then all eyes on Ian by Friday and the weekend. Joe, we'll send it back to you. Kate, thank you.